السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. My name is Muntadar Al Ashbar and I currently study at College of Northwest London. Would you be so kind as to put the headphones on? How does Lady Zainab inspire you? Lady Zainab inspires me through her strength, through her courage, through her patience, and through all her attributes which she inherited from her mother, Fatimah al-Zahra salam, and her father, Ali ibn Abi Talib salam. And when she stood in front of that tyrant Yazid in his own palace, in front of his ministers, and in front of his friends, and she humiliated him in front of everyone. When you think about the tragedy of Karbala, how does it make you feel? Of course, what happens in Karbala is, is a big tra tragedy for the whole Islamic Ummah. Imam Hussain with his 72 companions all get killed and beheaded by an army, led by an army of thousands of traitors. After he gets killed and beheaded, his sister and his family are all taken as prisoners of war. They get hit, they get beaten, and they get taken back to Sham, to Yazid's palace. But through this tragic story which happened on the plains of Karbala on the 10th of Muharram, we should be looking at ourselves and we should be looking at the message behind it. Why did the Imam Hussain stand up against the tyrant of his time? Why did he go with his sister and his family? which consists of children and women and a small army of just 72 warriors. What does, what does this show us? We should be taking all this into account in today's time. We should be coming together, helping each other, putting our hand in hand with each other and putting our differences aside. And as Allah says in his holy book, This is what we should be doing. This is what Allah teaches us we, what we should be doing. And what shows us at the end is on the 10th of Muharram. Of course, the Imam Hussein got killed and beheaded. They lost the battle, but they won the war. And that is the day where the sword, where they say, Antasar al-Dam al saif which means blood gained victory over the sword. What lessons can you draw from the life of Lady Zainab? For example, her patience. Sayyidi Zainab salam, what we can learn is, like you just said now, the patience. They call her, when they go to Sayyidi Zainab, they say, Assalamu alayki ya Jabal al-Sabr. Peace be upon you, the mountain of patience. What does this show us? She stayed patient and patient and patient. And she stood against Yazid in his own palace. The patients are the ones who, are, who gain victory in the end. And this is what we should be doing. We should be being patient and staying resilient through all hardship in all times. What do you most admire about Lady Zainab? Lady Zainab السلام, what I admire most about her is everything and all the attributes she has, all the things she has inherited from her father, Ali ibn Abi Talib السلام, and her mother, Sayyid Fatim Tizahra السلام, which she inherited the patience, the courage, Everything which is attributed to our Imam السلام, and to Sayyidat Nisa al Alameen, she inherited. Sayyidat Zainab السلام, she stood in front of Yazid and in front of his ministers and in front of his people in his palace. 
and she stood in front of him with all passion and all courage and she said kit kaydak was'a sa'yak fa wallah lan tamhu dhikrana and what she said has echoed through 1400 years on and we are still here remembering them remembering al-imam al-husayn alayhi salam remembering abu al-fadl al-abbas alayhi salam and of course sayyida zainab alayhi salam as well as the 72 companions who sacrificed themselves for the imam of their time and for the deen of Muhammad to Ali Muhammad. Lady Zainab had strong principles and universal values such as justice and humanity. How do these values affect your daily life? For example, if you see an injustice, how do you respond? I think in today's society, a lot of us people are numb to humanity and numb to justice. A lot of people right now, if you go in the streets, you see a woman getting robbed or someone getting stabbed. No one will do anything. They will just stand by, maybe even take their phones out and just start recording and will not even get involved and try to stop what is happening. And that is a problem. And I think we should be learning from Sayyidi Zainab alayhi salam and take on and start doing action rather than just talking. Because we can sit here all day and just start talking about how Sayyidi Zainab alayhi salam stood against Yazid. But what is it that we can do? What is the action that we are going to take to carry the message of Imam Hussein alayhi salam? And Sayyidina Zainab alayhi salam, what she did, for example, where she wanted justice, is part of usul al-deen, al-adala. One of five, for, uh, one of five usul, which is justice. And, I th and Allah shows us that justice is very important. As well as in the furu' al-deen, al-amr bil-ma'roof wa nahi an al-munkar. Talking about what's good and improving on it and telling people to do good and forbidding evil and what, and what should not be happening. If you had to describe Lady Zainab in one word, what word would that be? I think Sayyidi Zainab alayhi salam, no word can describe her. Because what I think really can describe her is the love, is our love for her, which is in the heart. And if we say she's courageous, then what about her being a leader? What about her being resilient? What about her being patient? I don't think any word will do her justice. And that's why I think... There are a lot of words which describe her in the best of ways uh, and we can't just say one word and I don't think I can describe her in just one word because she's, Sayyidina Zainab alayhi salam is much bigger than just being described in one word. What can Lady Zainab teach us about being loyal and committed to the Imam of our time? Like she was to Imam Hussein, the Imam of her time. Doing what we have to do. Same thing, she, she did what she had to do for the Imam of her time. We have to make sacrifices. We have to go through tests and our, our patience will be tested. Just like Zainab alayhi salam, her patience was tested. I think we should, we should just be resilient. We should be patient. And we should just take on what, what we can take on from Sayyidina Zainab alayhi salam. Because I don't think any of us, and especially in this day and age, we will go through what Sayyidina Zainab alayhi salam went through. If you were given the opportunity to tell the world about Lady Zainab, how would you describe her? Sayyidina Zainab salam, is a granddaughter of the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. She was modest. She was a leader. She was courageous. She was, she was one of the, she's one of the purest. Sayyidina Zainab alayhi salam, and we can all take something in our, from her and put it and take action into our own lives. If you could leave a message for Lady Zainab, what would you say? Thank you.
جني جبل راسي زينب انا ورغم اليسر ما هبطت راسي عزمي ثبت وبمجلسك جني جبل راسي زينب انا ورغم اليسر ما هبطت هاي انا عفي عفيا هاي انا قواهم الله هاي ايه حيهم حيهم ال العقيله آه.